handle the house full of crazy naked people. I can handle some walkers. Hey guys, your girl Alicia K Geek XX Chic, and we're back with another reaction to The Walking Dead. We're now on episode eight of season eleven, which is called For Blood. So I believe we are at the mid-season hiatus at this point. We usually do pause at the eight episode mark every season and then we resume of course in the next year usually around february with the last eight seasons the back end eight seasons or eight seasons eight episodes and i feel like we're going to do something similar i'm excited to see how we're going to pause things going into the next half of the season so we're going to jump into the episode but before we do you know the drill if you've been here before and you like what you see please consider hitting that subscribe button that way you'll be notified when i do react to series like this I mean, this one's going to be on pause for a minute, but when it comes back, you will be one of the first to know when my reaction comes out. So hopefully you'll think about joining the fan. All right, that out of the way, guys, let's get into the episode right about now. What's going on, guys? We watching porn? I spotted them about an hour ago. I heard them everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. Daryl knows. Have you ever seen Rodas move like that? Yes, intimately. Yeah, yeah I've seen that before. Try Dixon's wife. Pope likes me more. Rubbing his face, girl. I can do it. I've done it before. Well, it's me, it. Oh, I guess he doesn't like you that much. Why did this brother have to go and be the sacrificial lamb? Does he have no brains? He about to turn into a pumpkin, my guy. This was the wrong mission to volunteer for. Oh, no. Did you not plan for that, Cinderella? I'm sorry, my brother, but not really, because why are you rolling with these fools? Sorry to see your brother go, but you know, they say about, you know, having the wrong company. We got storms now? Are we getting like all 12 plagues? Can we just know? <laughs> Judith's like, that's it. I've had enough. She's going to get her sword. She's like, I'm taking on the storm, guys. He was family. Yes. Fight God the Son. God didn't send him out there. Thank you! You did. Leave him out of it. As soon as your boyfriend showed up. Daryl has that effect on people. Aww. You just got back. She's okay! She's like, I just killed a house full of crazy naked people. I can handle some walkers. I prefer it, actually. You can stay. Dude, you were stabbed like 18 times. Lay down. I was really hoping maybe you could help the other kids feel a little less afraid. Can you do that for me? Remember the last time you went out in a storm, Judith? We don't have Negan to save your ass this time. Sit down. What can you tell me about? Uh, not much. Give him something. I'm keeping you around. Because she's in love with me? God chose me. Right, throw it back at him. That look like he couldn't decide whether to lick my hand or bite it off. Well, you know, you did lock me in a house and like set it on fire after waterboarding me, so sorry if I'm not ready to give you a little cuddle. I wish I was more like you. You're never afraid. Always afraid. That's not true. I've been scared plenty of times. I just channel that fear into rage. Never ending rage. She'd be proud of you. You have a nerve talking about Michonne at all. Look at him being all poetical. And you can bet that wherever she is, you're with her. Well, we would really like to know that, you know, by seeing it, but whatever. <laughs> Bye, Gracie. Radio Carol, so there must be another bridge. A close one, go. Judith. And for the record, kids, let's stay away from the open windows. Especially since these walkers be real quiet these days, man. They just be creeping up on people. It's why we were chosen in the first place. Because we didn't run from the fire. It's like we don't run from our enemies. Okay, then go out there. How did Daryl find them immediately? Want smoke? Oh yeah, this is a little smoking buddy. With his emo hair. Come on, I know I go. But how do 
are you gonna explain that? Shh. Oh no, he's gonna bleed. He didn't scream, but that blood. At least the limping looks more authentic now. Ready to watch him. What's that? It's how we're going to end this. I'm sorry, was there a footnote that I should have read? Is there something in the whole crazy cult pamphlet that I missed that's gonna get my friends killed? Was Gabe the right person to bring? What are you doing? I just wanted to say, someone needs to lead them away from the door, at least some of them. Rosita looking badass in this rain, though. Let them know, girl. What I do know, though, you're not going to take Coco's other only living parent. That ain't happening. And don't you do something stupid right now. I see that look in your eye, Judah. Don't you do it. Keep your little ass in the house. Badass. Don't y'all forget it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Nah, he made his own choice. We're all alive because we believed in him. Did you? No. No. Kind of does actually. That's kind of the whole point of having a belief. You ever think about what it'd be like if we'd never let that happen? No, I met Connie and realized that I could do so much better than you. She doesn't care. A star without any good people. And our families. No, oh, Daryl, why do you trust this chick? Carver told me to trust you. Told you. I want you to find a woman for me. Oh, really? Bring it to you, this. Ew, no. How far are you willing to go, Daryl? Somebody gotta die tonight. Ideally, Leah. Maggie, can you please move faster? Daryl is doing the best he can, but he's not be able to stall much longer. You see how Maggie knows not to slam the door, Gabriel? It's pretty simple. Why wouldn't she wait like two more seconds? But I guess she's gonna take the gate down. We having a Dukes of Hazard moment, yo! Welcome to my house in the middle of the street. <laughs> That's deeper than even you realize. Enemy right there. I went to the courtyard and fought. Sir? Uh huh, you heard me. He's like, our people are down there. Yeah. I thought you were about brotherhood and family is all that we had, Poe. He can't kill us. Duh. I can't. Look how many people he sent out, sweetie. Like. Oh, Lord. Space drama. Oh, God. I need Gabriel to stab this guy, actually. Good girl. I know you were dying to do that for a while. <laughs> you dummy. This would have been the time for you to just sit that out and be like, you know what? I didn't want to be part of this cult. Now you got a knife in the neck. You hit a girl. The game turning into a dead shot. I'm down for it, even as the patch and everything. Oh no, are you bleeding from your neck? Don't worry, God will save you. Yeah. You're kind, I would have let him turn. All right, let's see if these two are gonna fight now. Leah, come on, find us. She ain't going with you. You just killed her whole family. Hope is dead. Daryl killed him. Dixon murdered him. I knew she was eyeing that number one spot. You'd do anything to protect your family. This is true. And I'll protect mine. So would I. But get the gate closed. Then what? Then we're gonna kill everything inside these walls. Fair enough. You underestimate them. I enjoy that. But would Daryl actually be able to kill her? That's the question. Meanwhile, back in Alexandria. Oh my gosh, 
No, don't separate from your brother. You don't move your hop along, stabbed up ass. Gracie? Really, Gracie? This is the time you decided to go MIA, girl? I'm down here. Why? Why are you not with the rest of the children? Well, the whole basement's flooding, so maybe we don't stay down here, dummy. Sitting down here ready to drown looking for something that was literally right in front of you. Gracie, you're not made for this life, honey. You went back to the flooding basement? Which is worse, getting bit or drowning to death? It's not a good sign. No, they're not. They're military. Daryl, maybe this would be a good time to tell them they've got a weapon that's like gonna kill everything in there. Daryl, where are you? Great. Of course. Of course you end it there. Sure. Thanks. Great. Awesome. Oh man, what a tense way to have a little break in our season. Both of our air, actually all three groups of our story are in peril of some sort or another. And of course, we're just gonna have to sit here clenched and praying until the show comes back sometime next year. This episode, I have some thoughts on it. I'm gonna be discussing it in my review video, which will be coming up shortly after this one. So hopefully you will check that out. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.